Welcome back to the Code Red Vlog with a Colonel. I'm Colonel Chris White, retired U.S. Army, and tonight's topic is the Democrats are desperate. Folks, the Democrats are desperate. After three and a half years of eviscerating incomes, sowing racial, class, and societal division, facilitating the criminal alien invasion of America, and undermining global peace and security, they are in dire straits. Trump is once again on the precipice of victory over the Democrats, the deep state, and corrupt corporate elites. Things were so grim for creepy Joe Biden that the big money corporate Hollywood and Wall Street dark money players bankrolling the Democrats' destruction of America thought that they would try a Hail Mary. So they duped Biden into a debate before the party conventions. Why would they do that? So that it would be apparent to even the most devoted leftist sycophants that Joe Biden had checked out. There was nothing there, there any longer. So they conspired to dump Biden steal the nomination from 14.5 million Democrat Party voters, and do their best to hoodwink voters with a different candidate whose favorability ratings rival Catholic clergy, kid diddlers, and members of Congress from bottom of the barrel. Folks, we've seen it all so far. Picking a stolen valor candidate who is the definition of weird in Little Timmy Waltz. The billion-dollar softball media blitz courtesy of a corrupt, compliant, and complicit media and social media companies to prop up a candidate who has failed to hold a single press conference and cannot articulate a single policy position. The faked bust-in crowds at campaign events, the uninspired crowds who rock up for paid for celebrities and then bolt for the exits when Kamala speaks, the treasonous deep state actors in federal agencies and in uniform pretending to care about national security, including eight previously disgraced frauds who lied in 2020 about Hunter Biden's laptop, calling it Russian disinformation when they knew full well that it was genuine. Now the Harris-Waltz campaign is so desperate that they've committed an impeachable offense, well, at least by Democrat and Rhino standards definition, that is, financing foreign interference in our election. The Biden-Harris regime used U.S. military aircraft at taxpayer expense to fly their puppet e-grifter from Kiev into a battleground state weeks before an election to visit union worker ammunition plant in Scranton, Pennsylvania, and spew campaign rhetoric against their political opponent in said election. If that isn't foreign interference in election, I don't know what is. Financed by the American taxpayer. What a corrupt regime we have in Washington. At this point, even the Biden-Harris brain trust, also known as Barry Obama and Susan Rice, has to know the polls are cooked. They too are convinced things are looking grim for cackles and little Timmy. Now they've tried everything to get rid of Trump, from bogus impeachments to fraudulent criminal trials, not providing adequate personal security to actually encouraging people to assassinate Trump with meritless Garland's idiotic decision to not redact a letter offering a bounty on Trump's head, basically calling for an assassination. But like a Timex, Trump takes a licking and keeps on ticking. The fake polling dishonest media coverage aside, this race will be decided on key issues affecting Americans, three of them in fact, inflation, the economy, and illegal immigration. And if voters vote on those issues, it should be an electoral landslide for Trump. But will it pan out that way? It's impossible to say, given Election Day has been undermined with weeks-long early voting, which is already underway. In such a corrupt system, it is entirely possible the false narrative of Kamala popularity can indeed hoodwink sufficient low-information early voters into voting for her without being fully informed on the actual issues in the race. And that's the bottom line here. But the Democrats are scared. They've tried everything. They have tried celebrities. They have tried the fake media blitz. They have tried fake polls. They've even flown in their e-grifter from Kiev to get Pennsylvania voters to vote for Harris and Waltz so that the gravy train keeps flowing to the corrupt government in Ukraine. <laughs> Sad indeed. The very things they accuse Donald Trump of are the exact offenses they've actually committed. Conspiring, colluding with Ukraine. <laughs> oh my goodness. Well, there you have it, folks. The Democrats are desperate. Will it be a landslide for Trump electorally? It should be, all things being equal. But hey, nothing's equal in this day and age. Thanks a lot, folks. Cheers.